With the first pick, the Seattle Storm, select Brianna Stewart. With the second pick in the 2007 NBA Draft, the Seattle Supersonics select Kevin Durant. What's it like to be back? Brings back memories, man. My first ride to the game, we played the Phoenix Suns, my first home game. It was just so nerve-wracking because I was finally a pro, something I was dreaming about my whole life, but I was still a teenager. You were also telling me that you saw the real Kobe in here. Oh, my God. Tell me about it. Kobe was on the tear at that point, before Powell, so he was just trying to score. And he came in here, took 44 shots, but the shots he was making, though, turning around on the baseline with two people over top of him, like stopping on the dime, pulling up for the J for the game. Like, he was just doing stuff that I wanted to do in the park. He was doing in the NBA game. And I was like, I got a long ways to go. <laughs> Corner? Oh, man. Do you miss? That's what? crazy. I'm telling you. That's crazy. All you do is in 24 hours that think 24 hour fitness that think you nice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, brother. Oh, you're God. not that nice. NBA is back in Seattle for tonight, but hopefully it's back forever soon. What do you think it would mean to Storm fans for the Sonics to be back? I think it would be huge to, to have the Sonics come back. And, you know, I can only go off of what I've been told from Sue, you know, when she was here, when, when the Sonics were here. And it was just a different vibe, you know, having both teams and, you know, a sports city really embracing both men's and women's basketball. And I think, you know, we, we deserve to have the Sonics back. You know, it's, it's the only other sport that we're missing, really. Everybody says it, that Sonics need to be back here from all different walks of life. Everybody knows the Sonics belong back here. And hopefully it comes back here soon. What is it about the women's game that you respect and appreciate so much? Well, I started really falling in love with the fundamentals of the game. Some of the stuff that I see the women's players do, I look and see the fundamentals of the game and it makes me want to go sharpen up my tools and my skills for the game because that's what it's about. Obviously, athleticism is cool, it's entertaining, but the core of the game comes from learning how to do the basic things and they do it the best. She was the MVP for the regular season and now a WNBA champion, Stewie! The back-to-back -back NBA Finals MVP, Kevin Durant. You quite literally walk in his shoes. I mean, you wear his shoes when you play. What should that tell me about your relationship? <laughs> Ever since I was in college, I would wear the KDs. And at UConn, we couldn't wear the low tops. So you kind of messed me up, because I couldn't yeah, wear them. I had a few years. I couldn't, around, I, couldn't, I, I couldn't wear them at UConn, but now. Um, I missed a couple championships. <laughs> <laughs> what inspires you? about him. What inspires me is just the kind of the way he carries himself. You know, continuing to want to be better, continuing to want to do better, whether it's on the court, off the court, and um, that's big. You know, especially someone who has, um, who's so big time. <laughs> uh, but to, to still kind of really be humble, and that's a difference maker. That'll set him apart from everybody else. And I think, you know, when you look at kids, a lot of young kids are, are aspiring to be just like KD. What have you taken from his game that you use in your own? I think, uh, you know, just, just watching him, uh, watching his games, watching film on him, the kind of, the calming presence that he has when he plays, you know, you don't know if he's going to pull up and hit a jumper from like 35 feet out or he's going to just go past somebody with his crossover. But trying to, to just emulate that and bringing it to the WNBA. And I think, you know, a lot of people have, have put the comparison between our two games, and hopefully it's putting more eyes on us. You know, people who watch the NBA will now hopefully tune into the WNBA to see if the comparison is actually true.